First and foremost, I want to give all praises and glory to Yahweh, Basham, Yahushai, Rakatha Yahweh, Basham, Yahushai, Basham, Rakar Kodash. Give double honors to apostles of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutation to our sincere brothers that goes out on the highways and the byways, risking their lives week in and week out, feeding their flock. And shalom to our sincere brothers and sisters supporting this ministry. All praises and glory is due forever to our Heavenly Father and His beloved Son, Kwame Asharala. Why are you hiding, Esau? Why are you hiding? Eh? There must be a reason why you're hiding. Okay? These so-called Christians, these so-called pastors, right? False prophets. They don't read all the scriptures. They don't read all the Bible. Right? They like to only read a couple of verses from a book. Right? From one of the chapters. And another three or four hours of dancing and singing. Alright, put it this way then. If you like to do things quickly. Right? Let me give you a hint. Why don't you read the book of Omadiah? Right? That's short and quick. That's short and spicy. To the point. You don't want to do that because you know why? That's all about Esau's destruction. You don't want to do that. Right? You fly over every chapter. You fly over that. When it comes to Omadai, you fly past that chapter. And it's the quickest one. It's the shortest book. Right? In the Bible. So what really and truly are you hiding, Esau? Huh? What are you hiding? Well, let me go to the definition now. Right? You type in, what are the shortest books in the Bible? The book of Omadiah is an oracle concerning the divine judgment of Edom. No, no, I have to repeat that. Concerning divine judgment of Edom. Right? That's Esau. The Edomites. The so-called white man. And the rest restoration of Israel. Oh man, how beautiful is that? Judgment of Edom and the restoration of Israel. The text consists of single of a single chapter divided into 21 verses, making it the shortest book in the Hebrew Bible. The Hebrew Bible. Alright? And there's a reason why they don't do it. Right? For various reasons. And let me tell you one of the reasons why before I get into the scriptures here. There's a thing called a 501c3 charter, yes? Or group. And let me read the definition. What does it mean to be a 501c3? Non-profit means the entirety, usually a corporation, is organized for a non-profit purpose. 501c3 means a non-profit organization that has been recognized by the IRS as being tax exempt by virtue of its charitable programs. Okay? You hear that? So I'm going to ask that question again. Esau, why are you hiding? Why are you hiding behind the bushes? There must be a reason why. Because these so-called pastors, right? These false teachers, they skip that chapter because they know, 
right, is going to cause a lot of alarm bells ringing. I never knew about this chapter when I went to church. I never knew about it until the Most High, you know, put the Spirit to me, opened up my eyes to this truth. And I've learned through my apostles of Great Millstone, our spiritual teachers. That's who I learned from. If I never learned from them, I would have never known this chapter. All right? Edom's destruction. Because it's going to be causing a lot of alarm bells ringing. Right? So that is pushed underneath the carpet. Right? That's actually being removed from the Bible, if you know what I'm saying, when it comes to these so called Christians. What are you hiding, Esau? Why are you hiding behind the bushes? Because if they say certain things in churches, it's going to spoil everything. All right? There's a rule they have to stick to. As long as they could stick to certain words, right? Certain books of the Bible, certain teachings, right? They're okay. They're exempt from paying those taxes. So what does that mean? The contributions, the tidings for the church are tripled. Right? Because they're not telling you the truth. And it's so beautiful. The book of Obadiah. Okay, let me just um, read the first thing first, yeah? Edom's destruction. The vision of, start from one, all right? The vision of Obadiah. Thus saith the Lord our power concerning Edom. So it's not talking about anybody else. It's talking about Edom specifically. We have heard a rumor from the Lord, Yahweh Basham Yashai, and an ambassador is sent among the heathen. Arise ye, and let us rise up against her in battle. I'm not going to read the whole chapter because I won't have enough time. Okay? Because there's a few breakdowns to go into it. All right? But let me just jump to... Verse 8, right? Shall I not in that day, save the Lord, Yahweh even destroy the wise men out of Edom? Here we go again, Edom, right? The Edomites, the so-called white man, Esau, and understanding out of the mount of Esau, and thy mighty men of Teman shall be dismayed to the end that every one of the mount of Esau may be cut off by slaughter. Verse 10. For thy violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee, and thou shalt be cut off forever. Not for part time. Not for temporary time, not for a short time, forever. This Bible here is about Jacob and Esau. It's all about Jacob and Esau. All right? That is the main thing. Other nations are involved, but the main factor is about Esau, Jacob and Esau. All right? And yes, the Lord hates because he loves Jacob and he hated Esau. You won't say that in churches. Right? 501c3. Does that ring a bell? 501c3. Does that ring alarm bells? Why are you hiding Esau? What is there to hide? What is there to hide? So let me go to 17 now. Alright? The deliverance. Deliverance on Holy Mount Zion. 
And it reads from 17. But upon Mount Zion shall be delivered and there shall be holiness and the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions. And the house of Jacob, right? The house of Jacob, which is the south, all right? And they're going to join, you know, they're going to join. I'm soon telling in a minute. And the house of Jacob shall be a fire. And the house of Joseph, which is the north, all right? And they're both going to join together. A flame. And the house of Esau for stubble. So those two, the south and the north, Jacob and Joseph are going to join together, okay? A flame, right? And the house of Esau for stubble. And they shall kindle in them and devour them. Are they going to read that in churches? I think not. And there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau. For the Lord Yahweh Sham Yashai have spoken it. When the Mosai says something, it is done. Okay? It is done. Verse 19. And they of the south shall possess the mount of Esau. And they of the plain, the Philistines, and they shall possess the fields of Ephraim and the fields of Samaria. And Benjamin shall possess Gilead. Gilead. Verse 20. And the captivity of this host of the children of Israel shall possess that of the, the Canaanites. And you know who the Canaanites are. Even unto uh, Zariath. And the captivity of Jerusalem which is in Sepharad. Sepharad shall possess the cities of the south and saviors shall come up on mount zion to judge the mount of esau right which is going to be done away with right and the kingdom shall be the lord's okay right and that's going to be given back to his children right that kingdom that beautiful kingdom that we fight it for that new kingdom right so it's all about Jacob and Esau hey right? I read that in verse 10 again for thy violence because they've been violent from day one you see that man is hiding why are you hiding in the bushes right what you don't want to reveal it's coming out now Esau for thy violence, right? You've been putting us down from day one. Against thy Jake, brother Jacob, right? Shame shall cover thee, and thou shalt be cut off forever. Right? Forever is going to be done away with. No turning back, Esau. This is your destruction. This is Edom's destruction. Okay? So you churches always skim over this when it comes to this book. The shortest book of the Bible. And you like to do things quickly. You have no patience. Right? You're always in haste. So why don't you read this chapter? This book? No. Because you have something to hide. So with that, I give all praise to Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh Shai. Brakotha Yahweh, Basham, Yahushai, Basham, Rakar Kodash. The destruction of Esau's kingdom is here. Shalom.